Hey YouTube, and this is going to be my guide on how to use the AK-47. The AK-47, as you probably know, is a high accurate, high power, high recoil rifle that a lot of pros use, or even noobs occasionally. Uh, there are three ways to use the AK-47. Spraying, bursting, and single shotting. Well, let's start off with spraying. Spraying is basically when you hold down your left mouse button until you either run out of ammo or you kill your enemy, or enemies, um, occasionally. Um, I'm showing the recoil the spread, the spray pattern here. Um, with AKs, you're going to have it go up uh, to the left or up to the right. For me, it's mostly up to the left, but for some other people, it could be always mostly up to the right. So always check your spray pattern, um, which is most common for you before actually spraying. And it's just some footage of me, you know, some gameplay of spraying. Um, the bad thing about spraying is if somebody hits you from behind and you do a 180 you might not kill them because you're going to be moving and your bullets are going to go everywhere and you're not going to hit them while they're going to probably be getting accurate shots at you the benefits of spraying is you will most likely kill the guy or you can get a headshot and it makes you look pro that you got a headshot with an AK so that's good I guess Spraying, you want to stick for close to medium range. Definitely do not spray at long range. That's a very big no-no because you're going to hit everything but the person most likely. Next is bursting. Bursting is when you take uh, three, two, three shots at a single time. Let the gun, gun simmer down and uh, just keep doing it all over until you kill whoever is standing in front of you or to the side of you or behind you occasionally so uh, yeah just showing you know what bursting is um, most of the time you're gonna have a pretty nice group that's going upwards with a couple of shots that are you know not in the group um, but bursting really effective at long range this is definitely what you want to do at long range I'm on ship here which is not a really good place to do bursting um, because unless you're gonna stand back at your base and burst people when they get out of their base but you know that's just boring because it's kinda like camping except your everybody can see you so yeah whatever <laughs> so I'm like spraying bursting here uh, I personally don't like bursting it's just not what I do um, uh, sorry about that that was my dog and yeah, I'm getting killed all over. It's just I'm trying to burst when I really should be spraying since it's close range. You know, things happen. Yeah. So, you know, just some more gameplay. Uh, like I said, bursting, definitely want to do it at long range. You could do it at medium range. But at medium range, I would still recommend probably spraying. Unless, you know, you want to burst. Um, bursting can save you ammo and all that stuff. I really want to thank uh, Jamie at 33. Um, he commented and I that I failed epically on what <laughs> bursting is. I got bursting and single shotting mixed up, but whatever. Speaking of single shotting, this is the little, not, next thing we're moving on to, um, which is basically killing an enemy with a single headshot. Um, and I'm making a guide on single shotting, which will be up um, maybe around, I don't know, sometime next month a little less you know it's going to be a pretty big guide uh, I'm not sure if I should make it into parts or just post it as one whole thing because it is really long um, and extensive and really detailed but when we get to that we will get to that uh, so this is just gameplay I can't really single shot while recording because my frames drop and with that I get lag and with lag it's really hard to make accurate shots you think you're getting an accurate shot, and then you're not, and it's just really bad. So, you know, um, I start off pretty bad in the beginning here, but, you know, then start popping a couple of heads, and we're all good. Ah, uh, dang it, I cheat. So, <laughs> yeah, nice spray right there, and I get grenade. Of course, I always die from grenades, like, what the hell? I'm a grenade magnet, holy shit. <laughs> so, um, the benefits of single shotting, which I will talk in my guide, 
you save a ton of ammo, and you get you you look you're pro you look pro and you know that stuff. Uh, bad thing is you're gonna you're gonna get kicked a lot. Honestly, you are. I mean, I get kicked a lot, and it just pisses me off. Um, it's like aimbot, a it's like, oh my god, one hit hacker. Cause like I said, close up I spray. Um, one th other thing is if you go are going to single shot, if you're up close, you could still spray. I mean, it's not going to be like, you know, the end of the world if you don't get a headshot. Now I'm going to go into the AK-47 knife. Now this is a special AK because the recoil spread is crap. I mean, just, you, you, what I'm showing here, you're not, it goes up and then if you go to the right or to the left, it, there's no definitive way and just, it goes higher up and it just takes off from that. It's just really bad. I don't actually have gameplay for the AK knife. Um, and here I just am doing uh, single shots here to show how bad the accuracy is. Because um, it's just really bad. It's not accurate, as accurate as an AK. And you have a ton of recoil. And this is the AK I use. And you're like, why? Because it makes me look more pro. And I can actually single shot with it. Um, effectively. Now moving on to my settings, which some of you might be wondering. Um, my sensitivity is a 10. Um, I've used higher sensitivity, lower. My friend uses 100, and he does fairly well with it. I'm not sure how, but th that's him. Your sensitivity should be your own thing. Just because I have 10 doesn't mean you should use 10. Uh, as far as crosshair, definitely use the circle if you're going to single shot. If you're going to spray only, use the uh, type A. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.